Stop using Instagram, especially if you're a small business or startup, it is no longer worth your time or attention to try and get traction there. Even Gary Vaynerchuk, arguably the world's leading expert on social media, has said Instagram has slid all the way down to position five in level of importance in terms of social network that he focuses on for himself and for his clients. Citing that platforms like TikTok, YouTube, and yes, even the old person's network Facebook have shown much more reach and much more promise than Instagram has. Yesterday, in a morning meeting, me and my team made the decision that Instagram is now the fifth most important platform for my personal brand, going from number one. So in this video, we're gonna go deep on why Instagram is no longer worth your time and attention and what you should be focusing your resources on. Instead, let's get into it. Reason number one why your business should ditch Instagram is because the engagement rate is awful. We've seen this with pretty much every social network ever, starting with Facebook. They start by giving a ton of organic reach to bring creators to the platform, and then gradually they take it away bit by bit in favor of paid advertising on the feeds. This has been slowly happening with Instagram over the years, not to the extent that it happened with Facebook. A lot of you remember when Facebook pages went completely dead and became pretty much an advertising network only, although data is showing that Facebook is rebounding now in terms of organic reach. Instagram has been on that downward trajectory forever. When you couple with the fact that when you're the king of social networks and you're on top and you've reached pretty much as many users as you can reach, the feeds are just incredibly crowded. So there's a competition just for normal people to get their posts seen. Then you factor in the ads, which are of course gonna take precedent. Instagram's engagement rate is terrible. Data shows that for every 100 followers that you get, only one will be shown your content. That's an engagement rate of 1% of your followers. Just think about how hard you have to work just to get people to see your stuff that you're already spending a ton of time and energy on. When you compare this engagement rate to other platforms like LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok, it becomes a no-brainer to shift a lot of your time and energy to platforms like that instead of Instagram. Now, your engagement rate on Instagram can go up if you've got an engaged following, if you're posting multiple times a day, if you've really got a feel for the right type of content to create on Instagram, then yeah, we have clients that are still having a ton of success there. But the amount of time, energy, and resources that they pour into it is quickly tipping that equation in favor of not profitable using Instagram organically. Reason number two to ditch your business's Instagram account is to reclaim your attention and your time. Now this slides a little bit more on the personal level. I personally got rid of my Instagram account about eight months ago and I have not looked back. I have not missed a single thing in my life, either personally or professionally. In fact, we still use Instagram. We just use it for advertising only and we're still as effective to get customers off of Instagram without having to deal with all the nonsense that comes with Instagram. What I mean by nonsense is Instagram is a consumer's network. It's just a nonstop feed of information that does not serve you professionally, but also personally. And maybe this doesn't apply to you, depending on who you follow and who you are and what type of things you interact with online. Or maybe you just don't want it to apply to you. Because a lot of people, when I talk to them about this, they get very defensive. They think that they can't survive without Instagram. Where will I get my news from? How will I stay in touch with my friends? Humans have been around for 10,000 years. Instagram's been around for about 10. We've been fine before. We'll be fine without it. Trust me. The content that you get fed on Instagram, it's everyone's perfect life. I can't tell you how many couples my wife and I hang out with that online. They're that perfect couple, you know, making cute content together, always in love. And then you go out to dinner with them and they're a fucking nightmare. It seems like they hate each other, right? That's Instagram in a nutshell. Everyone just posting their best life, which creates toxic feeds. Because what happens as humans, inevitably, we're always comparing ourselves against something else. And as some great philosophers have said, comparison is the thief of joy. When you're constantly comparing yourself, right, personally and professionally to other businesses you think that you should have, you think that's what you should be doing, you think that's what you deserve, it chips away at you mentally and internally. Instead of spending that time and energy looking at stuff that does not serve you, you can reclaim that time and focus on things that are actually gonna grow your business. Put down your phone, stop scrolling, you don't need to see it, it's not good for you. It's not helping you, it does not serve you. And I know this happens on all social networks, but it's especially potent on Instagram. If you just look at the difference between the content on Instagram and TikTok, you'll notice TikTok is a lot more organic. It's not, there's no pictures. So people aren't just like taking photos, editing them themselves, Photoshopping things in on private jets, all that nonsense. It's not people just trying to show their best lives. It's actually people trying to create content that either educates or entertains. So the content on TikTok is much cleaner. It's much better for you mentally because it's not this just nonstop barrage of a perfect life that doesn't really exist. 
that wastes your time, it wastes your valuable brain space and keeps you from focusing on more important things. As I said, I've been off Instagram for eight months now and actually my wife and I went to Italy for six weeks and it sounds stupid even saying this aloud, but I didn't have Instagram there and I didn't have any of these weird social pressures to post and share things for moments that were really for us, not for anybody else, but for us to share and enjoy. And I still took pictures. I still enjoyed it. I still captured those moments, but those are for us. I didn't feel the need and the social pressures to capture those things to try and communicate something to other people about who I am and the life that I'm living. The older I get, the more I realize those things are nonsense and it's not really what serves us as humans and it's not really what I identify with anymore. It's a weird phenomenon. When you put it down and you shut it down, you don't miss it and you get a lot of your brain space back to focus on more impactful things. Reason number three why you should ditch your business's Instagram is because where the attention flows, the money goes. Now getting data on how many people are actually leaving Instagram is pretty much impossible because when you actually get rid of your Instagram account, you usually just archive it. You don't delete it permanently. I still have access to my account if I want to reactivate it. It's just deactivated. So Instagram doesn't give us the data on how many people are actually deactivating or not using it. They just look at total users. So if you look at total users of Instagram, it looks like it's remaining steady, but it's the amount of times that people are accessing it. It's the amount of time that people are spending on it that's going down and specifically in the younger demographics, 18 and under. They are leaving in masses for platforms like Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. Whatever the younger generation is doing, that is where the future is moving. A lot of you probably don't even remember this back in 2007, 2008, when MySpace was a big thing. And then the college kids came in with their Facebook, their damn Facebook, and they started pushing out MySpace. Same thing happened with Instagram. And now the same thing is happening with TikTok. TikTok is not a fad like Snapchat was. TikTok has major staying power because of the type of content there, because of what the younger generation is looking for, what they identify with. TikTok is a much better fit for the style of content that they want to see. And yes, people still use Instagram, just like people still use Facebook. And I'm not telling you to delete your Instagram completely what I'm telling you to do is shift your focus and attention. Shift your focus and attention away from taking that perfect picture that doesn't communicate much to telling short stories on videos that are 30 seconds or less because these short videos can be used on YouTube shorts, which is huge right now. They can be used on Twitter. They can be used on Instagram. They can be used on TikTok. They can be used everywhere. They're just a much better form of communication than just posting an image and writing some copy that nobody really wants to see because it's played out. When you're forced to tell stories via video, you connect much deeper with an audience much faster and it resonates a lot more. So to bring it all home and summarize it, this is your final warning. Instagram is not the platform that you want it to be. It's not the platform that it once was, and it is not the platform of the future. If you want my marketing opinion as an expert, stop focusing so much time and energy there and start focusing on short form content for YouTube shorts, for TikTok, and yes, even for Facebook, because it's making a comeback. You don't need your Instagram. In fact, I'd make the argument that it's actually hurting you more than it's helping you. So that's all I got for today. Make sure to hit that button to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.